Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to bake this generated planet into a static mesh. So here I have this bake static mesh option. When I press that, you can see a static mesh is created using this dynamic mesh data. And I can generate a static mesh for each each of the planets that I have in my level here press and a new one is created so here is the generated mesh and also if you refresh and update the mesh and then if you bake static mesh again it will only apply, update the existing mesh it will not create a new one so if you have multiple different planets you can bake a mesh for each different planet so the reason that i think of doing this is maybe if you are already if you already have enough polycount for the planets or if you uh, yeah, only only want to view them in a distance and you don't want to land on them or something it you may not need to generate them in the runtime you can just design them in the way you want in the editor and bake them and use that mesh for the uh, planet as the planet basically so that's why I think of implementing this system right before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done to the date there are 1700 videos 1800 something videos i think for each video you can access the project files once you become a member in the patreon page i'll leave the link in description below and let's get back to today's tutorial all right so there are actually uh, multiple ways to do this. First, let me open the blueprint of the planet and then I'll add a custom event wake mesh and I'll make it call in editor. And there is this function called copy mesh to static mesh but for this method you need an existing static mesh asset in the project i will show that first and then i will show how to create a static mesh dynamically uh, through the code and then we can bake our planet into that so first step is we need to get dynamic mesh we can get dynamic mesh using this dynamic mesh component like this and then here we can put it as an input and we can select one of the static meshes that we have in the project so maybe let me just duplicate this planet. I'll call it baked planet and choose that here now let me enable call in editor yes i have enabled it and here if i press bake mesh oh wait we need to give the materials as well otherwise it will not have the material data so new materials i can get materials array from this to replace by let's try this see now we get the mesh with the material including the materials and this is a static mesh so but this is not this is the easy way but that's not what I want to do I want to dynamically create the static mesh asset as well so for that let me change this a to exist mesh mesh okay the other method is uh, for that we have to use C++ 
because I don't know how to do that. Maybe it's not possible. I don't know for sure, but I don't know how to do that in Blueprints. So here, I'll add a new C++ class. I'll make it an actor component so that we can add it to actors. I'll call it mesh bag, mesh bag, right? Okay. And here, I'll make a U function blueprint callable. And I'll name it white big Eric mesh. And as an input, I'll give you a static mesh description. I think I have to include I have to include this module in order to use that. So let's go to .sys file and I add this dependency a static mesh description and then I can why does it jump SMT description right now here let me create the definition of this oh I forgot one more thing I need to pass the an array of material the array in the type of you material interface objects pointers material i'm trying to match with this function here so that's why i need to use materials as well all right now this is invalid this is invalid this is correct so now when i create the mesh this is the part i want to look I uh, want to use game meshes generated planets so when I say game it would appear in the content browser under meshes right and then I need to append let me get the actor name get name yeah get name and I'll also get the map name so that we have a somewhat unique name we can generate a somewhat unique name get word get map name then using this code i can generate a mesh name f string so it would be sm underscore map name underscore actor name then uh, we need to generate the package name that should include the path and the mesh name so it should be like this package name equals path class mesh name <coughs> okay now we need to create a u package so this is how you create assets through code u package pointer package equals create package and we need to pass package name like this and then we need to create a static mesh we can create a new static mesh using this package mesh wait static mesh new check in the type new static mesh here package now mesh so this part kind of we had to just copy and follow along i don't really have much of an explanation for this and these are object flags rf stand law <coughs> all right and then uh, using this code we can set up like basic settings for the static mesh and the next step is add material for that we can run a follow for the given materials materials now and we can add each material to this static mesh like this static mesh get static materials add that static material 
and pass the fat area. Yes. Five. Okay. And then we have to basically use this. I'm also just copying from a code that I have written before. Okay, so to register with the asset registry module, we have to first we need to include asset registry module. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, now let's compile. All right, compilation done. Now we can add mesh baker as a component to our class and then uh here let me add another custom event bake mesh so this time not to existing a static mesh maybe we don't need it so let me delete this part get the mesh baker and call bake static mesh now here we have to pass materials and static mesh description so static mesh description create a static mesh description using the dynamic mesh and pass it here now pick static mesh and then here it should create a folder let's try see generated panels and it has the planets but why don't i see anything what did i miss okay maybe here let's return the static mesh okay. instead of void use static mesh let's return the static mesh and then right here now instead of void i'll make it return a static mesh and at the end okay now save yeah compile compilation done let me refresh right now we have return value uh convert static property static mesh so here from as a static mesh i'll pass this and from dynamic mesh um i'll pass this get dynamic mesh and yeah now it works see now we have the mesh uh, let me just drag and drop and yeah here here is the baked mesh so here is it saved <coughs> like this okay now in the same way this is for sm dynamic mesh planets mesh baker by Back again oh, it's save into the same one well this actor name is not written in a value as i understand that's what's happening it only get sm dynamic mesh planets mesh where does the mesh maker coming from oh it comes as the actor name here i'll make this a parameter f string actor name like this now i need to copy this also to the header file as well right it's compile compilation done now here if i refresh i go to actor name so self get name get object name let's use the object name it as that now let's try yeah now we generated a different one it's same dynamic mesh planets bp planet c7 okay that's the object name so for each different uh, each different uh, planet object different mesh is created and if i update it for example let me refresh this and back now you see it updates see it changes all right so that's all i wanted to do in this episode so maybe so the reason that i did is so if you just want to see the planets from uh, 
distance scale you don't really want to land or if you are already satisfied with the poly count and you don't have to dynamically increase the level of details as the character goes closer maybe it's just a good idea to like bake the um, generated mesh so that you don't have to bake it in the runtime you don't have to generate in the runtime so that's why i decided to create this system so yeah you can use it whatever the way you want now we let you know how to do it all right thanks for watching as always updated bullet files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye